feeling it in that uh, you and I are enamored with the Alberta 51 USA movement. And uh, I know, and, I, and as, me, as Wendy mentioned, she, you know, uh, she is most people aren't political wonks like you and I are, Val, but the conversation here has really spurred some simple thoughts on my part, listening to Wendy's. I mean, it's a success story, but it's almost kind of a tragic success story, <clears throat> uh, if you will, with what you had to go through, Wendy. But um, it comes down to the, to me, to the most simple core issue. I'm here listening here to, to you guys, to both of you guys, because I know your story too, Val. You've been fighting it for three years. And I'm sitting say, to myself saying, well, wait a minute, you know, uh, whether you're a political wonk or not, just the southern border screwed up, okay, because people shouldn't be allowed to walk across and not have their 10, 20 years to fight the battles of an, in a standard immigration process with the United States. That said, and I won't get into that discussion, uh, but that said, the Alberta 51 movement on two major issues simply answers all these questions. Number one, uh, medical, the medical crisis that's going on in, the, in Canada. Uh, we've had this conversation a million times, but uh, Canada uh, gets wonderful health, health coverage, universal health coverage, but they don't get any care. There's, tra there's just tragic stories of the Canadian health system. And I believe, like I've said on the air many times, Alberta, USA is the answer. Because, and this might even be cool for Wendy to know, because if Alberta, when Alberta chooses to become the 51st state of, of the United States, and all it takes really to start the ball rolling is a referendum uh, of more than 50% uh, of Albertans. But if they are able to finally free themselves from the oppression of Canada, they will be able to draft their own state constitution, independent of even the federal government of the U.S. Uh, states like Alaska have their own constitutions where they actually pay royalties on oil revenues back to the citizens because of that state con constitution. So Alberta 51, by drafting a state constitution that the people want, would be able to guarantee themselves Number one, no BS ever on immigration, ever, ever, because they would immediately, automatically be dual citizens with virtually no process. So it solves the immigration process until somehow the U.S. can get their ducks in a row someday with, uh, by revamping their, their uh, immigration process and as well as Canada. But it solves the immigration issue because just by being an Alberta resident and or citizen, you become a dual citizen. Canada... U.S. I could I even joke if Canadians are sentimental, just have them call themselves Canadian Americans, Canadian Americans, if we want to be politically correct. But it solves the immigration issue. Uh, it solves the uh, the health care issue, but also the immigration issue, because, again, uh, all Albertans would be able to work for any U.S. company with virtually no paperwork. There would be no border crossings, et cetera. So to solve health care and the immigration calamity alone to me is a reason to vote yes alberta 51 um i'll leave it at that but when you mention that statistic which by the way you broke publicly val the 33 percent of dis uh, uh disenfranchised albertans and yeah. disenfranchised uh, you you know you you publicly mentioned that I know I know it was live on the Alberta website at one time the Alberta government website but you broke it as a statistic and if it's thirty three percent right now of disgruntled Albertans think about it they most Albertans and, and and most humans up in Canada don't know the actual facts of how easy statehood could be logistically they, they simply don't know the facts and if they saw a simple brochure talking about the facts and of course of course the benefits would they rather have a dollar 75 gas would they rather have their groceries a third less than they are now would they rather keep all of their their billions of oil revenues for their own benefit 
those can be accomplished in one simple stroke of the pen, which is Alberta 51. So if anything, just to add in my mandatory five, six, seven minute, two cents, uh, I wanted to I wanted to to broach just that those both both those issues, immigration and health care. And to this moment, I am stunned. I am stunned with what Wendy went through and Val, what you are going through dealing with the, the, the nonsense that is U.S. immigration policy. Well, we could probably talk about immigration journeys all day, 